Hello, I'm Stephanie Rivers. I started working in the airline industry 10 years ago because I love adventure and meeting new people. At amusement parks, I prefer roller coasters over song and dance shows. I love to swim in the ocean instead of the pool, and I want to experience different cultures firsthand, not just through the internet. My travel goal is to visit every continent. So last September, my birthday month, I took my first trip to the continent of Africa alone. Cairo, Egypt, the origin of civilization, reminds me of New York City. Lots of traffic, tall buildings, and tourists everywhere. Although some travel advisories warn women against going to Egypt alone, I was there for nine days and never experienced anything adverse except pushy salespeople and taxi drivers who try to overcharge, but that can happen anywhere. What you can't find anywhere else but in Africa is the Red Sea. If you remember from Vacation Bible School, God parted the Red Sea so Moses and the Israelites could walk across the ocean floor on dry land to escape the Egyptian army. After they crossed and the army tried to follow, God closed the opening and the army drowned. From Cairo, I took a seven-hour bus ride south to Hergada just so I could scuba dive in that Red Sea. In Hergada, I also went four-wheeling through the desert and visited an Egyptian village. Of course, my trip wouldn't have been complete without jumping the Giza pyramids, check, kissing the Sphinx, check, touring Cairo's National Museum and taking a sunset boat ride along the Nile River, check. I brought back lots of authentic Egyptian oils and artwork to go with my priceless photos and memories. I'll be back to Africa. I plan to work my way south through the continent for another once-in-my-lifetime experience.